So guys, I saw a video of this black American woman just talking about Nigerians anyhow. She was like, why are Nigerians more successful? Why Nigerians are so, are so at the top? Like, why is it that everywhere you go, you keep seeing Nigerians at the big positions? Why is it that Nigerians are everywhere? And she was like, if you go to the UK and you see companies and you're looking for the director, you're looking for the boss, the managers and all those big positions, you are most likely to see Nigerians. You understand? You'll be hearing Nigerian names, Timmy, uh, Adekule, you'll be hearing uh, uh, all these Nigerian names, both Ibu and Yoruba. Understand? You'll be hearing all the names. Adeboye, all those kind of names. You'll be hearing a lot of, 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 of those Nigerian names. They are at the top, they are the management, they are the directors, they are the bosses of all those big companies. So this black woman, this black American, she was like stunned, confused. And I was like, you are still confused in this generation that Nigerians are the most successful black people in the world. You are still wondering why Nigerians are the most successful black people in the world. It's still they worry you, you still they ask question, as in waiting they saw, waiting they saw. Hmm? You will hear Nigerian names, Obina, Obidis, eh? You will hear only Nigerian names at the top of those big positions. You understand? And you'll be wondering, what's in this up? Chukwe Meka, Chukwe. To the point where Nigerian names are used in, in, in American movies. Nigerian names are used in big places now. You hear Chukwe Ze, Chukwe Meka, Timmy Dakolo, Timmy this, Timmy that. You will be hearing the names. Because Nigerian names are about easy to identify. So this black American woman didn't believe she was like. And I said to myself, okay, it's about time we do a video to black Americans and remind them that you people should not be surprised and you people should not be shocked that Nigerians are more successful and they are the most successful black people in the world. Because for a long time, black Americans have had the, the tendency to think that they are the black people that are educated, that black Americans are the are the black civilized people you understand yeah they are the ones who taught south africans those their yeah, yeah, attitude so black americans have the tendency for a long time now to look themselves as the superior black people you know the black people that have the money the black people that have the music the black people that have the success that can be with white people you know that can be powerful that's how black americans have often seen themselves they didn't see that blacks from africa can do better than them. They didn't think that blacks from Africa, Africa, some of those black Americans still even think that Africa is a jungle. Some of them don't even know anything about Africa. Some of these black Americans still see Africa as one place where you should avoid. You understand? So it is funny to them that black Nigerians, Nigerians are doing better than them. They are shocked. They find it difficult to accept, talk less of even believing. But it's the reality because the richest black man in the world, even if you take top 10 richest black people in the world, you will not find a black American inside. You, you think I'm joking. You can go and do your research. The top richest black people in the world. You want to look at... Guys, it's, I know it's not, this video is not to compare black Americans and Nigerians, but it is to tell you the gap is too big. The gap between black Americans and Nigerians is... It's like from here to heaven. Blacks in America don't have the luxury that Nigerians have. You cannot compare. It's, it's not worthy. You, there's no time for that. You understand? Because where Nigerians' money ends, ah, black people are just dreaming to even try and, and have that kind of money. And now, their hip-hop music that they were using, as like, now Afrobeat is, is almost putting it on the ground. Afrobeat is now the new thing we are seeing shakira seeing white people they are willing to invest our music has good culture good education good lyrics good values our children will not listen to our music afrobeat and turn out to be uh, go to the street and pick on whatever they can and become uh, you know what you people sing in your music as black americans we are we are we are more organized black nigeria and now you want to look at it when you go to black communities in America, let's be honest, black Americans, if you're watching me, please. Caribbeans and all these, if you're watching, be, let's be honest. Huh? When you go to black communities in America, 
maybe you people, your, I don't know if it's Louisiana or whatever your community is, the black states, I don't know. Look at the black states in America and look at the biggest shopping malls in those states. Look at the grocery stores in those states. I mean in black communities, black communities in America. Who own the grocery stores? Who own the restaurants in those communities? Who own the shops? Who own the businesses? Chinese, Indians, Asians, and Nigerians or African immigrants. In your own black communities. Your money, your celebrities, they spend their money to buy white Rolls Royce, white, buy from white company. I don't know black Americans that are producing Rolls Royce, that are producing cars, producing mobile phones, producing valuable things that can benefit the black communities. I don't know black Americans that own those manufacturing and production companies. I don't know any of them. Maybe you can remind me or help me know. You can if you know them, but I don't know. But I know Nigerians that are producing everything from oil refining to shoe production, dress production, fabric production, mobile phone production, every little thing, car production, manufacturing. That is the difference, guys. Nigerians are conquerors. While the black Americans are just pure consumers, Nigerians are productive. They don't come to America or go to Europe to go and and, and beg white man to treat them equal or, or start, uh, oh, we are equal, black lives matter, oh, oh. That's not what Nigerians come to do in America or go to Europe to do. They go to Europe to show that if Europe can produce car, Nigeria too can produce car. If Europe can be a manager, Nigeria too can become a manager. If Europe can go to school, Nigeria can be honor degree, top class, first class, must first class. I mean, that's how they go. They don't go to, to beg white people to, to treat black and white equal. No. So you see that black Americans, you people are far behind Nigerians. You people are far behind. And that's why some of you are surprised to see that Nigerians are doing what they are doing. African immigrants are doing what they are doing. And I think that if you really want to help matters, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> wake up, my guy. Because it's going to be late if you don't wake up. It is what it is. Your boy Ajo Magzi on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free. Cause there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for you. God bless you all. Cheers.